thanks everyone for um, joining us today at, at our first uh, annual bioproducts cluster. Um, what I'd like to talk to you about uh, right now is um, the biomass value chain and some of the priorities that BIC sees in developing the biomass value chain within Canada. Uh, within the bioproducts cluster itself, um, we have an assortment of different projects at the, at the different value hierarchy price points across the bioproducts value chain. And you can just see that you know, we have, we're, looking at, we're working on projects from the biomass side, um, the largest volume to uh, the pharmaceutical and specialty area side with small volumes but tremendous margins. The message I want to get, a, to, to get across to you today is um, the, the technology development today has been all over this map. You, we've seen a lot of technology being developed on the sugar side, on the building block side, on the application side, et cetera, et cetera. But what we're trying to do here with our bioproducts cluster is to connect them. And one of the observations that we made is that we've seen technologies developed on the far right-hand side of this chart without knowledge of how to get the feedstock that starts from the far left. We see technologies that are being developed in the middle who are unconnected to the front or the back. If you look at the petroleum investment, where do you guess the majority of the investment is made? It's made in the upstream side, in the oil and gas, drilling for the oil and gas. That is where tons of money is spent. To give an example of magnitude, $10 million project to debottleneck a petroleum plant. As a comparable project in a petroleum plant on the upstream side, you're looking at $500 million. That is a difference in magnitude we're looking at in terms of investment in the feedstock supply side. And that's one area where we're, we're catching up. Um, as you probably know, there are three plants in the U.S. who have very well-developed supply sides, and they're refining their supply logistics into a, into a, into a science uh, using precision agricultural tools and models to really maximize the value of the biomass, to maximize the efficiency of the biomass collection so that that biomass can be harvested and then converted into building blocks for high value products. 